Hello friends, my name is Renee, and welcome to a game called Ascension. This is a card game that I have played in my free time that I kind of just wanted to show to you guys. It's, uh, it, the, the layout of how everything works is a little weird. First off, you gotta do like offline, you can do the tutorial or create game. And if you want to have, um, AI, whoops, go back, go back, go back. Uh, I guess we're just gonna use this, okay. Uh, you have to change it to uh, the AI difficulty. Um, you can do like easy or hard, or you could do an actual player. Um, you can also like add more people. And how, um... <sighs> you know what, let me actually just show you the tutorial. It's gonna be a lot easier to explain to you with the tutorial because I am terrible at explaining things. So we got these cards here. Ascension is a deck building game. Each player begins the game with an identical deck of 10 cards that they improve as they progress the game. In Ascension, each player starts with a deck of eight apprentice cards and two militia cards right here. These cards provide two basic resources, runes and power, which is up here. And I've got my um, camera down at the bottom here because this is important and this is semi-important. This is like the deck or whatever that this stuff comes from. And then my discard pile is over here, but it's not really that important. So that's why my camera's here. Each apprentice provides one room, which could be used to acquire additional cards for your deck. Each militia provides one power, which is used to defeat monsters and earn rewards. Apprentices and militia are both heroes. Heroes can be played from your hand to gain their effect. Cards that can be played from your hand will be surrounded by a white halo. Try playing a apprentice. So oh. this is a... Uh this is the action area, so drag an apprentice to the action area. We're going to put this here. Cards in the upper left corner of the play area are always available during the course of the game. So that's what these are up here. These cards can be purchased to add to your deck or defeated for rewards during your turn. So basically, runes are money and power is what you use to defeat things. You can get a closer view of any card by right-clicking it. A left-click will then return it to the play field so you can resume play. The number in the upper right corner of the card is the cost to acquire or defeat the card. To acquire a mystic, you must have three runes to spend. Play another apprentice to gain a second rune. And then play a third apprentice to gain another rune. Now I have enough runes to acquire a mystic. So see, I've got three, I can acquire a mystic. And the mystic gives me uh, two runes. So I'm going to grab this. When you acquire a card, it goes to your discard pile will, and will be available to you the next time you go through your deck. When a card can be acquired, it will be surrounded by a green halo. Try acquiring a mystic now. And I bring this to my discard pile, which is down here. To defeat a monster, actually, you know what? I can probably move my camera right here so you can see better. There we go. To defeat a monster, you must spend a power. Defeating the cultist requires two power. To defeat the cultist, you must spend two power. Play a militia from your hand to gain power. And then I can play another militia, and then I can defeat a monster. When you defeat a monster, it doesn't go to your deck. Instead, you receive a reward for defeating it and then sent to the void. A card that is sent to the void is removed from play. The cultist is unique in that he can be sent to the void over and over again. When a card can be defeated, it will be surrounded by a red halo. To defeat it, you must drag it to the void. So I drag that there, and it's defeated. The reward for defeating the cultist is one honor. Honor, which is these... Is the victory condition of the game. The goal of the game is to end up with more honor than your opponents. Aside from earning honor and defeating monsters, each card you acquire has an associated honor amount shown in the bottom left corner. You gain honor both from monster reward wards and from cards you buy throughout the game. The number at the bottom left corner of each card is how much honor it's worth at the end of the game. So these aren't worth. Uh, this is worth one honor. This is worth one honor, and that's I reward one. Okay, the honor you're awarded is added to the honor total from all the cards in your deck to determine your final score. The game begins with a pool of honored based on the number of players. The depletion of the honor pool signals that the game will come to a close. Whenever a player plays a card or earns a reward that grants honor, the honor is removed from the honor pool. When the honor pool is empty, each player up to the player who took the last turn in the first round can complete a turn before the game ends. Since this is a two-player game, we begin with 60 honor in the honor pool. So once I get uh, 31 honor, I win because he can't get more than me. In addition to the cards that are always available, players can acquire or defeat cards from this in a row. Which is dealt out from this deck. 
The center row consists of six cards that change throughout the game. When a card is removed from the center row, usually by someone acquiring or defeating it, the space is immediately filled by a new card decked out from the portal deck, which is what's up here. You draw five cards to start the game. Is my camera blocking anything? No. At the end of each turn, all those cards go to your discarded pile and you draw five new cards. You begin the game with five apprentices, so you will have five runes to spend. You may spend your runes however you wish. There is no limit to the number of cards you can acquire on your turn as long as you have runes to purchase them. The more expensive a card is, the better the card will generally be once it's added to your deck. With five runes, you can acquire a Snapdragon, which is an excellent card for your deck. Drag the Snapdragon from the center row to acquire it. And this Snapdragon, um, once per turn, gain a rune. The first time you play a lifebound hero, you gain one uh, honor. So I can put this in my discard pile. When you acquire the Snapdragon, the space in the center row is immediately filled with another card from the portal deck. You've used all your available resources for this turn with nothing left to do. You must end your turn and allow your opponent to take a turn. The end of your turn, any cards left in your hand, and all the hero cards you played this turn go to your discard pile, then you draw five new cards. <sighs> your opponent has four princes and one militia. You use four runes to acquire the Demon Slayer. Since there is nothing your opponent can defeat with for one power, his militia card will be sent to the discard pile without being used. Now it's your turn. Your hand contains three runes and two power. With three runes you, runes, you can acquire a Wolf Shaman, which is a lifebound hero. Now, if you remember, I get uh, an honor and every time I play a lifebound hero from the Snapdragon that I'm going to get later. Uh, so I gain one rune, draw a card. For three runes, you can acquire a Wolf Shaman. Wolf Shaman complements your Snapdragon. Yeah, that's what I just said. You need three runes to acquire a Wolf Shaman. So I can play these three. And now I can drag this here and I'll get it. You still have two power left, which you can use to defeat the Goltist. So I'm going to drag this here. And you're going to get one honor. You're done with your turn. All the cards you played this turn will go to your discard pile and you draw a new hand of five cards. Because there's no cards left for you to draw, your discard pile is shuffled and that becomes a new deck. The card you've acquired during the last couple of turns will now become available for play. Ah, my nose. There's so much dust. Your opponent once again drew four apprentices and one militia. He requires two heavy infantry with his four runes. His one power will again get away since there is nothing he can defeat. Snapdragon you just drawn is a construct. Unlike hero cards, which go into your discard pile at the end of your turn, constructs stay in play and have unique effects each turn. They're a continuous effect. Snapdragon gives you one rune each turn. Put Snapdragon into play by dragging it to the action area. And then it goes down here because it's a construct. Constructs that provide a fixed number of runes or power will trigger automatically when they're in play. The rune you gain from Snapdragon has already been added to your rune count, since you have one rune from Snapdragon and three runes from your apprentices. First spend one rune to acquire Aura Initiate. You can acquire as many cards as you have runes for, so if a good card replaces Aura Initiate in the center row, you may be able to acquire that as well. Emery, one with the Void, is a good card, but you cannot afford it this turn. You do not have enough runes to acquire anything in the center row. This is when the always available cards come in handy. Use your three remaining runes to acquire Rune Mystic. You still have one power remaining, but since there's nothing you can defeat with one power, you must end your turn. Your opponent has drawn Demon Slayer, Militia, and three apprentices, so he has four power and three runes. He defeats Mistake of Creation, which rewards him with four honor and allows him to banish any card from the center row and another card, and another card from his discard pile as well. Banishing a card means you send that card to the void without having to actually defeat it. Monsters do not grant the rewards when banished. You should banish cards you don't want your opponent to acquire or defeat, then you will have access to a new card from the portal deck. Your opponent has chosen to banish Master Dartha. Since his deck is mostly based on power cards, he cho chose to banish Master Dartha to prevent you from acquiring it. Banishing Master Dartha not only eliminated a card that you could have used, but it's also replaced by a card that your opponent wants for his deck. Your opponent can now spend three runes to acquire the Shadow Star. Your opponent is now out of resources and ends this turn. Playing your Wolf Shaman gives you a rune and allows you to draw an additional card from your deck. Because Wolf Shaman is a lifebound hero, your Snapdragon will gives you one honor when Wolf Shaman is played. With the additional resources you've gained this turn, you have six runes and one power. You have enough runes to acquire Emery, one with the Void. And that gives me four power. There's nothing left you can defeat for one power, so your turn is now over. 
Your opponent has drawn heavy infantry and militia and three apprentices, which gives him three wounds and three power. He begins by spending his three power to defeat Samael's trickster. Defeating Samael's trickster awards your opponent with one honor and one rune, giving him a total of four runes. He uses those four runes to acquire Druid of the Stone Circle, which was just revealed in this in a row. Now your opponent is out of resources and ends his turn. First thing you should do this turn is play your Aura Initiate, which allows you to draw an additional card from your deck. You generally want to play cards that add additional cards or resources early in your turn so you have more options. The Aura Initiate has drawn Emery into your hand. And this is fortuitous as you now have 5 power. You have enough power to defeat the Wind Tyrant. Play Emery, the one with the Void, from your hand. Real, and a Militia. Now defeat the Wind Tyrant and uh, earn a reward of 3 honor and 3 runes. You need seven runes to acquire Muramasa. And I currently had four. So now I can get this. You should now have enough knowledge to play through a game of Ascension. Remember the player with the most honor at the end of the game is the winner. If you still need help, a detailed version of the rules, including a visual guide to the interface, is available by clicking the menu button. You may finish the game against the computer or use the menu button to start the game at any time. So we're going to go ahead and finish this game out so you guys can have an idea of how I play. The computer is really fast though, you can't really see everything that he does. So I'm gonna use this. And I'm gonna go ahead and play everything because there's no reason to not play everything. There, there really isn't. Um, I've got six runes. I could draw two cards or copy the effect of a hero played or I can defeat two mystics or gain uh, three heavy infantry. I can also do this. Um, I don't think there's another mecha construct on the board though. Uh, I think I want to acquire this and discard a card if you do draw two cards. And I'm also going to acquire this. And he's probably going to use his turn to get that because it's an easy honor. Mm hmm. Okay, so I can play all. Um, let's see, main banish card in the center row. I got six power again. Mm, the chances of me getting another mecha construct are pretty low. Uh, what are you doing? Let's go ahead and grab this. All right. <sighs> okay. Play this because I get three power. Play this and this. And these only last like a certain amount of time. I don't know why. Um, let me go ahead and play everything now. So now I've got four power. I could get. I could do this, which I think I'm going to. Um, so I think I'm going to defeat this. No, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, I'm going to use this and I'm going to banish this guy. Oh, his is a power based deck. Um,. I'm gonna get rid of this. It says it's a power based deck. He's more likely to get that than I am. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's draw a card. Draw a card and discard a card. Um. Okay, let's play all. Now I've got seven and six. So once per turn, I can gain two, uh, gain one. So loud. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my deck. 
And then I think I'm going to defeat this. And I can go ahead and grab this too. And I'm going to defeat two of these. To get more honor. But she's currently got more honor than me, but it's okay. Okay. Um... Go ahead and go to this. Dang it. I don't have a monster with four or less. So I have to use that. Go ahead and use all these. Okay. Um, I found construct. Draw some cards. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. Use that. Uh, play the rest of these. Um, gain two power. Gain one for each faction among constructs you control. Um, it's another lifebound hero. I like that. Lifebound construct is really nice too. Uh, I think I'm going to grab this. And then... Defeat some of these. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, draw a card. Gain a rune and an honor. Okay. Um, you vanish this construct to take an additional turn after this one. For each mecha construct you can control. I think I have one mecha construct. Treat all constructs as mecha constructs. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. And now I can do this and defeat him. Oh, come back here. And now I can defeat him too. Okay, in turn. All right. Um, I can do this. Draw a card. Make this card an apprentice. Draw two more cards. Play that. Play that. I'm gonna go ahead and play these. Um and a construct. Let's grab this because it's really good for what I'm doing. Go ahead and defeat one of those guys. And I can keep defeating them because I have so much stuff. Okay, in my turn. Okay. I want to treat everything as mechana constructs. An energy and an honor. Play everything. Uh, let's see. Mm. It's been a little, uh, it's the same thing. Let's do this. No? Okay. And I win. But we're gonna take another turn anyways. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play all now, and I am going to kick this dude's ass now. Go ahead and grab that. Screw your shadow star. 
And I'm going to take the last honor. And you can keep getting an honor once the pool is drained. But, um... Uh, obviously, there's no more honor to get. But he still gets to take one more... Uh, let's see if he still gets more honor than me. But he doesn't. So, yeah. And that's how you play this game. So, yeah. Uh, now you guys know, if I ever decide to play this, this is how this game works. And I just kind of wanted to show you this game because it's kind of adorable. And I think it's free, but I'm not 100% sure. So, you guys should try it out if it is. I have it. It's been a while since I downloaded it. So, uh... Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Internet setting out. Bye.